your, your, your key takeaway now we have all the big four out of the way. Yeah, um, uh, we, we have uh, uh, gone through the second quarter without seasons. And uh, we, we think uh, the uh, loan quality has been coming in stronger than we have expected. Uh, we still remember there has been some uh, very serious lockdown in Shanghai and some other cities uh, during the second quarter, uh, uh, you know, in April and May. Uh, but uh, the, the NPI ratios uh, for most of the major banks in China is still uh, doing OK, uh, in fact, edging down from uh, the beginning of the year. Um, but uh, I just want to remind everyone that uh, uh, we do see a big, uh, um, you know, increase in deposit costs uh, for the bank's recovery. And uh, we reckon uh, this trend may continue as uh, many of them are still uh, uh, rivaling for, for more uh, savings and costs. And, and that could be another drag to their revenue. In fact, it's the biggest headwinds for them uh, so far we have seen in the uh, first half of second quarter results. But what have they been saying, Francis, about the exposure to the property uh, sector? Well, um, obviously, there has been some worsening in the property developer loans uh, in terms of their quality and in terms of MPI ratios. Uh, but that's not alarming so far. Uh, we need to wait and see how the uh, third quarter may, may come in, because uh, uh, then we will see the impact from the mortgage boycott, especially for the impact to to the overall uh, home loan uh, quality. Uh, uh, so far in the second quarter, we have seen the, some deterioration of, of the mortgage uh, uh, quality in terms of MPI ratios, but still pretty, uh, uh, I think, uh, low, uh, from still from 3% to still from 4% for most of the big banks. Um, I, I reckon that maybe at the end of this cycle, we may not see uh, mortgage uh, bad debt ratio to uh, exceed 1%. And that's interesting, right? Because you take a look at where some of these stocks are, the, the big four, Francis, and, you know, these largest banks are basically trading uh, at 40 percent below book. Is that fair yeah. to you? Well, uh, I, I think uh, uh, it's, it's between the uh, uh, perception of, by the investors of, of what the market thinks against uh, what uh, we have seen in the reports. In fact, uh, if we look at uh, what they have delivered, uh, ROE on the ROE basis, many of the biggest banks are still uh, uh, making like low teens ROE uh, over the course of uh, the past few years, although the, that has been trending down a tiny bit. Uh, and uh, in terms of asset quality, um, I think many of these banks are very well reserved. If we look at the coverage ratio, it's well, be, uh, well above the uh, regulatory uh, uh, threshold. And more importantly, uh, many of them uh, can cover two times as much as their bad debts in terms of the uh, MPM reserves. And uh, I, I can hardly say it's justified or not, um, but uh, mm. uh, obviously um, maybe the market participants may have a very different view on uh, their prospects from this point onwards.